Hi everyone, my name is Wanda Kay, and I want to tell you just a little snippet of a story I once heard by Otto Koenig. It's called The Pineapple Story, and if you get a chance to listen to it, it's a real eye-opener. But one of the things that happened as he was on the mission field is he had a big conflict with the people he had been called to serve. They saw that he had, he had planted a grove of pineapples, and the pineapples were so tempting and so gorgeous that these people would, the, the natives would say, would come in and they say, well, you paid us and we helped plant this, so the, the fruit should be ours. And they would take the pineapples before they were even ripe. And this set up a conflict between Otto and the people he'd been called to serve. And it wasn't until finally Otto decided, I'm not going to argue with these people. I'm going, I'm here to serve them and I will serve them. And God, the pineapples are yours. So he stopped watching the grove. He stopped trying to police the pineapples and he just served those people. One of the interesting things that happened along the way was people kept sneaking into the grove to take pineapples as though they were afraid Otto would police the grove. But something interesting happened in the village. Finally, someone from the village came to Otto and said, what have you done? There are no more babies being born in our village. The women are not becoming pregnant. Something's wrong. We have displeased God in some way, and we don't know what's happened. What did you do? And Otto said, well, I gave God the pineapples. He said, you gave them to God? He said, yes, the pineapples belong to God. They said, well, take it back. He says, I'm not going to take it back. They belong to God. The people instinctively knew with their understanding of how nature works that the inability to increase and multiply came because they were stealing from the God of creation. And it's an interesting story how it all works out because Otto had a lot of work to do himself. But it brought me to, it, it, it came to my mind today as I was in a master class and we were talking about how that when we are doing what we have been created to do, our math looks a little different. We become mathematicians that are all about addition and multiplication instead of subtraction and division. We're more about the increase of the us instead of them. We begin to find common ground with our fellow man. And those things which God created nature to do, to increase and to multiply, actually do happen. So when you're working against creation and the Creator, you're going to find that you're trying to divide limited resources among all the many pots, so to speak. You're going to be subtracting instead of looking at ways to add to, to add value to your fellow human being, to add value to others, to find reasons to love other people. That's the wonderful thing that I find about our Creator. He calls us to love, and He says we'll know each other by our love. And when we line ourselves up with He who made all, things start to increase. And I was reminded of this too today as I watched videos of newborn babies all in my feed, human babies and goat babies. It's the season for kidding, not as in joking, but as in mama you's giving birth. And it is a wonderful thing to see nature doing what's it, what it's designed to do, to increase and to multiply. So I'd like to ask you today, where's your mind been? Have you been focused on what others may take from you, or have you been focused on what you can give? Have you been focused on how to divide it all and make it stretch? Or have you been focused on opportunities to receive more provision and to multiply that which God has given? 
I hope this video has been a blessing to you. I hope you will like, comment, and share it with others. And I look forward to talking with you again soon. Have a blessed day.